Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be building on a video I created a few weeks ago that looks at embedding Power BI reports into PowerPoint. And I'm going to be looking at some hints and tips on how to improve the look and feel of those embedded Power BI reports. Okay, so this is a PowerPoint presentation and it has some reports embedded in it. Okay, so these are, there's a video I've created, I'll leave a link below that talks you through using the add-in to PowerPoint that allows you to embed Power BI reports directly into PowerPoint presentations and, and slide decks, and it's really powerful. So I'll go into that in a bit of detail, I'll leave a link below. However, what I've noticed having used this feature a few times is that embedding the report as it is straight into PowerPoint often doesn't quite look particularly great. Okay, so if you look at this one here, it's not too bad. Um, but certainly if you've got reports like, or um, yeah, reports that have got headings, it just looks like, it just looks odd. And we've got this bit at the bottom here that's a different color. Um, and if we go and look at this one here, it's really, really small. Now we can in in increase it. So I'm gonna look at how we can make this look a little bit better. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the, the, the source report, the Power BI report, and I'm going to create a new tab. So I'm going to go and just add in a new tab here. And I'm going to put a background on this tab that is the actual PowerPoint template. Okay, so if I go back to PowerPoint, we can see here that we've, we're using a template here. Okay, so if I just go and add a new slide, get rid of these here, I'm going to export this as an image and I'm going to use that as a background to my Power BI report for the page that's exclusively going to be used to embed in my PowerPoint presentation. So to do that, I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go and save a copy. And we're going to go and select one of these formats here. Now I'm going to choose this one here, PNG. Now you can choose any other ones of these, but this one's the one I'm going to choose. I'm no expert in what is the best um, file format, graphic file format. So you might need to play with a few of those different ones, but this one works pretty well for me. So then I'm going to say save. Now it's going to ask here, do you want to replace the existing file? Because I've already e exported this. I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to ask is, do you want to export all slides are just this one. Okay, so it's just this one I want to export because I was on that blank slide when I went to um, went to save as. And I'm gonna just press this, just one. Okay, so that's gonna save this to my downloads. And I've now got this as an image. So now I'm gonna nip across to the Power BI report. Okay, so I'm in my Power BI report. I've created a new page. Now I'm gonna name this page Balance Scorecard PPT, okay, PowerPoint, just to differentiate this as being the the version that we're going to embed into PowerPoint. And then I'm going to go across to this format and options here. And under the, the canvas background, we've got the option to set a color, but we've got this option here to browse. And uh, this is going to be the, um, the actual template image that I've actually downloaded here. Okay, so I'm just going to go and select that. And we can see it's added that as a background. Now because my Power BI report and my PowerPoint presentation are the same aspect ratio, when we come into this image fit here, the normal is fine. Okay, we can just leave it at normal. So now we've got a background here, which is exactly the same as the PowerPoint presentation that we are going to embed the report into. So next I'm going to go and get the scorecard. So I'm just going to copy that. Now it doesn't mean that you will need to update the visual in two places. So that's a bit of a down. That's that, that is a, a little bit of a, ne a negative to this approach. But once you've got it locked in and you're, you're happy with the visualization, then it shouldn't be a problem. And you just need to update it and copy and paste it to the two locations. So we'll just move this down here a little bit. And I just want to make sure there's no scroll bars. Yeah, that's fine. Now in here, we can also insert a text box and we can put our heading straight into here as well. Okay, now it's 18 here, so I'm gonna make the same size 18. Now this is using Calibra, Calibri Lite, which 
in here we don't have, okay, oh we've got the calibri there, actually we do have it, perfect, now we'll make that 18, okay so that's going to be roughly the same look and feel as the, as a PowerPoint presentation. So a balance scorecard overview and that is it. So a couple other things we want to do here. So we don't really want anybody to navigate to this if they are just reviewing the report, okay? Because this is fine and this is the standard that we're using or the template that we're using for Power BI reports. So unless they are the same, which in which case that's fine, but if you've got two different templates, one for PowerPoint and one for, um, for Power BI reports, then you don't really want somebody to navigate to this report. However, we do need to navigate to this report to allow us to copy the URL to allow it to be embedded in PowerPoint. So what I suggest we do here is add another page and we'll just call it info page. Okay, so we've got a new page here, which was a duplicate of this KPI trends page, but we'll just rename it. And we're gonna hide this page. And we're also gonna hide this page here. Okay, so these pages won't be visible to people who are reviewing this, consumers who are reviewing this in the, the Power BI service. But we need some mechanism for getting to this info page or getting to this page here. Now the reason I'm gonna put an info page here is because you might have a few of these PowerPoint presentation type pages. Okay, and you want to be able to get to them from one, one central place. So in here, we're gonna go and go to buttons, go to navigator, and we're gonna put in here this page navigator, okay? And that is simply going to give us a button for the, each of the pages in our report. Now, one of the things you do need to remember here is that if you go to pages is to make sure that hidden pages are shown. Okay, if that if you get rid of that, it's only going to show the pages that are not hidden. Now, there are certain situations where you do want to hide the hidden pages from this navigation, but not in this example here. So make sure that this show hidden pages is actually on. And the next thing I'm going to do is go back to this balance scorecard and I'm going to need some sort of mechanism for getting to that info page. Now normally we'd have some buttons, but just to make it easy, I'm going to use this here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here, go to action, go to navigation, and in here I'm going to put in this info page. Okay, now that's going to allow us, when this gets published, to navigate to this info page and from here we can go to each of the power each of this the the tabs that have been set aside and configured to be embedded in the powerpoint and this is going to allow us to go and capture the url that we need to add into the powerpoint add in to reference this power bi report right okay so that's done you could tidy this up if you want to but we'll just leave it like that for just now so we'll save that and we're going to go and we're going to publish this up to the service Okay, so here we have it. This report has been published to the Power BI service. And if I click on here, we can see that we've got our navigation menu here. And if I click on this one here, we can see that we've got the report, which has got, or the tab on the report, which is configured to have the same background as the PowerPoint presentation template. So let's get the URL from here. And this is what we need. Okay, so this is normally hidden. You can see here in this navigation, you're not going to be able to see this as a normal user. And that's exactly what we want. Okay, so I'm back in PowerPoint. And we can see this was the old version of this embedded report here. And I'm going to go to a new slide. And I'm going to go to Insert and Power BI. Now, the video explains how to set this up and how to configure it. But essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste it into here, that URL. Okay, now all I need to do here is just a couple of bits of tidying up. So the first thing is make it exactly the same size as the actual PowerPoint presentation. Okay, now we can see there's a couple of issues here. We've got this filter at the side here. So let's use this button down here, data options, and we're gonna show hide this filter here. So I'm gonna hide it, okay? And we can see we've still got some of this white space at the side here for each one of these. So you just need to go and make this slightly bigger. And I'm gonna actually collapse this bar at the bottom as well. And here we can see. Okay, so it's just a little bit of configuration there just to make it fit. Um, and get rid of that white areas at the side. Now it wouldn't be so much of an issue if you, your presentation doesn't have um, full 
span colour banners like I've got at the top here on the bottom. But that's um, that's the the option there, just to make sure that you click on here and just modify the the size of the shape here to to get rid of these white areas. Um, right, so looking a lot better just now. So if we can see the before option, we had embedded the report here with the embedded header, with a date and timestamp, with um, other. It's quite small and difficult to read. This one here, we've actually now got something that integrates directly into the the Power BI report and at the side here we've got the options to go and um, turn on the filters etc here. Now one thing that is missing here is that we've got a link back to the source report. Now that that still has got this sort of grey white area at the bottom here. So let's look at how we can sort that out. Okay so I'm back in the Power BI report here and what you can do there is go and click on a it's a blank area here, and go to Canvas Settings, uh, no, sorry, Canvas Background, and we're going to change the background to be exactly the same colour as this banner here. So I'm going to publish this up to the Power BI service, and we're going to go and just refresh our, um, force a refresh so that the new version of this report is embedded into PowerPoint. Okay, so I'm back in the Power BI service. I'm going to copy this URL, and I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint, presentation here and we can see it's still got this grey area at the back here, there's a slightly off-white area here. So I'm going to open this up, I'm going to go to this option here and in fact actually it's not this option, it's this one here, clear data, start over with new report. So I'll clear this one, I'll just repaste this one in. Okay now we can see it hasn't made any difference here but if you minimise this area at the bottom here we can see that it's now got this blue background here. Now the other thing I need to do is go in here and just hide the filters. Minimize that. Here we go. Okay, so that is it. We've now got this link here at the bottom, but it's got that blue background with it and it's actually automatically changed the text to make sure that there's a contrast there. So it's the, the white on blue rather than black on, on off white. And that's going to link us through to the source report. So yeah, makes it look a lot better. If you go back in here, we've, this is just really looks like a, a report that's been plucked out of the Power BI service and stuck in this PowerPoint presentation. Um, however, this one here uh, it looks like it's completely embedded into this PowerPoint presentation. You've still got the option to go in and um, turn turn on the, the filters, etc., and interact with this report like we did before. Um, and you can see the pop-ups and stuff work, but it just looks a lot more integrated into this particular presentation. So hopefully you've got some hints and tips on how to make better use of this PowerPoint add-in because it is really, really powerful, really useful. And um, if you've got any of your own suggestions, then leave it in the comments below. Um, if you found this useful, it's always very, very much appreciated if you could give it a thumbs up and a like. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, I tend to release one every week, then click the subscribe button. And I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you then.